students welcome once again to the abal academy of education in today's video we are going to discuss here with icsc class 8 physics from the book concise physics by selina publications hmm. chapter is force and pressure we are going to solve the numerical portion in today's video you have already seen the uh, previous video like this on the back exercise up to questions up to question 41 we have already done now we will do the numerical portion in this video right so question number first is find the moment of force of 20 newton about an axis of rotation at a distance of 0.5 meter right so solution to first Is, what is given we will write here we are given with force f f equal to 20 newton and distance d equal to 0.5 meter so it is already in meter we don't need to convert it any more so therefore moment of force we have to calculate force would be equal to f into d force into distance perpendicular distance so force is 20 newton and distance is 0.5 meter when we will multiply it our answer would be 1.0 newton meter both units are combined to form moment of force unit that is newton meter right students so this was question number first now we will move on to solution to question number second what is it the moment of force of 25 newton about a point is 2.5 newton meter right find the perpendicular distance of force from that point right what is given here moment of force moment of force we are given here 25 newton right and uh, sorry 2.5 newton meter 2.5 newton meter is the moment of force and f is 25 newton right students so we as we know because moment of force is equal to force f into distance t right so force f is 25 newton and uh, sorry uh, moment of force is 2.5 newton meter force f is 25 newton and we have to find out d so therefore d would be this 25 newton meter upon 25 newton right this this newton got cancelled with this newton and we are so this would become uh, 
सो दिस वुड बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन टेन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी वन अपॉन टेन मीटर राइट सो डी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टेन मीटर If we convert it into centimeter, then it, right zero got cancelled with this. Therefore, our answer would be ten centimeter. Right, students. Now we will move on to question third. Let us first rub it. Make some space. for question third so what is question third a spanner of length 10 cm is used to unscrew a nut by applying minimum force of 5.0 newton calculate the moment of force so length of spanner let's say distance is distance d equal to 10 cm and force is equal to 5.0 newton so therefore moment of force would be equal to force f into d right so force f is 5.0 newton and d is 10 cm right so we have the moment of force in newton meter so we can convert it here into centi uh, meter this centimeter into meter right how many meters would be there so let me convert it here 5.0 newton into uh, 10 cm so here 100 cm is equal to 1 meter therefore 10 cm would be 1 upon 100 into 10 right so this would become 1 upon 10 meter right students so moment of force would be 5.0 newton upon 10 uh, meter this would come out to be 0.5 newton right so this meter could be written here no problem 0.5 newton meter so this was question number third we are again going to run this to make space for question number 4 this is solution number 4 the wheel of diameter 2 meter can be rotated about an axis passing through its center by a moment of force equal to 2.0 what minimum force must be applied on it right so here wheel of diameter 2 meter can be rotated about an axis right so diameter of uh, wheel would be the distance so therefore distance d equal to 2 meter moment of force is equal to 
2.0 newton meter so because as we know moment of force is equal to force f into distance d we have to find out what here force right so moment of force is 2.0 newton meter force we have to find out and d we are given here 2 meter right so therefore f would become 2.0 newton meter upon 2 meter so this meter got cancelled this 2 1 ja 2 so what uh, would be our answer here students we have done something wrong this d would be equal to Di uh, so the distance would be equal to the radius right so therefore this is not the d therefore radius r would be what 1 2 upon 2 d upon 2 2 upon 2 equal to 1 meter so this distance would be equal to radius not diameter please keep it in mind so here it would come out to be 1 uh, force into this d is equal to radius right so here it would go um, below and it would become 1 meter so this meter cancelled so and this 2 would not be cancelled 2.0 so here newton is remaining so that is, that is the force our answer would be 2 newton right so this was question number 4 now we will move on to solution to question number 5. What is it? A normal force of 200 Newton axon and area of 0 0.02 meter square. Right? Find the pressure in Pascal. Find the pressure in Pascal. So, here force F is equal to 200 Newton or we can say thrust thrust equal to force equal to 200 Newton and area A equal to 0 0.02 meter square right so therefore pressure P would be equal to first over area 200 Newton upon 0 0.02 meter square right students so what would it become now 200 Newton upon 2 upon 100 so this would go above meter square right so 200 Newton into 100 upon 2 right so when meter square will combine with this this will become pascal right so our answer would be 10000 pascal right pressure p would be 10000 pascal 
now we will rub this to make some space for question number 6 Find the thrust required to exert a pressure of 50,000 Pascal on area of uh, 0 0.05 meter square. So here 50,000 Pascal is pressure. 50,000 Pascal and area a equal to 0 0.05 meter square so as we know because p pressure p is equal to thrust upon area so therefore we have to find out the thrust right so therefore thrust would become pressure into area this is a this is force or thrust this is pressure right so pressure is what 50,000 what Pascal into area 0 0.05 meter square right so 50,000 into 5 upon 100 here is Pascal this is meter square two zeros cross cancer to 5 5 yeah, 2500 force would be in Newtons right so this was question number 6 now students we will move on to the next page that is question number seven find the area of a body which experiences a pressure of 50,000 Pascal by thrust of 100 Newton so here we are given with area we have to find out area a and given with pressure equal to 50,000 Pascals and thrust thrust F equal to 100 Newton right we have to find out the area so because P equal to thrust upon area area First upon area, right? We have to find out what area. So area would come here. Therefore, area would be thrust upon pressure. What is thrust here? Hundred newton upon fifty thousand pascal. Right? So so students when we are going to solve this 100 upon 50,000 we will get 0 0.002 so this this Newton upon Pascal area is in meter so this will become meter square uh, this would be equal to 2 upon thousand or we can write it as 2 upon 10 raised to power 3 or uh, it would become 2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter scale right students so let us move on to the next question by rubbing this 
that is question number eight solution to question number eight is what calculate the pressure in pascal exerted by a force of 300 newton acting normally on an area of three uh, 30 centimeters square so here f equal to or thrust equal to 300 newton area a equal to 30 centimeter square so we would convert it into the meter as we would require meters so what would we, it become 30 upon 10,000 right so this would become 3 upon 1000 meter square so as we know first F is equal to what pressure we have to find out pressure here pressure into area so first is 300 newton pressure we have to find out area is 3 upon 1000 right meter square so this would be call cross multiplied and it would become like this 3000 newton into 1000 upon 3 so this would become 100 so our answer would be 1 2 3 4 5 pascals this meter square will uh, would convert into pascal so all these are 1 2 3 4 5 jesus so we will write it as pascal 10 is to power 5 pascals right so again i am going to rub it here to make some space for question number nine solution to question number nine how much thrust will be required to exert a pressure of 20,000 pascal on an area of 1 centimeter square so P equal to 20,000 pascal and area A equal to 1 centimeter square so we will convert this 1 centimeter into meters so 1 upon 10,000 meter square right so we have to find out uh, as we know pressure p equal to thrust upon area right we have to find out what here how much thrust so p is here so thrust would become pressure into area pressure is what 20,000 pascals into area 1 upon 1000 meter square this would be called cancel this so pass so pascal into meter square is newton therefore this would come out to be um, here this is 10,000 so this would 2 newton right so let us move on to the next that is question number 10th 
the base of a container measures 15 cm into 20 cm it is placed on a table top if weight of the container is 60 newton uh, what is the pressure exerted by container on the table top so here students base of a container is 15 into 20 centimeter so area of container would be 15 centimeter into 20 centimeter equal to 300 centimeter square equal to 300 upon 10,000 centimeter square so weight weight means pressure uh, weight means force so therefore weight of the container equal to force equal to 60 newton we have what we have to find out the pressure therefore because p equal to f upon a it, therefore it would become force is 60 newton upon area is this this is now meter centimeters uh, sorry it's not centimeter square meter square we have converted it into meter so this would become 300 upon 10,000 meter square right 60 newton into 10,000 upon 300 320 yeah. so this meter square with combined with this newton to become pascal so 20 into 1000 equal to 2000 pascal so the pressure would be 2000 pascal right so we are going to okay two questions are left so we are going to rub this to make space so in question 11 calculate the pressure exerted on a surface of 0.5 meter square by a thrust of 100 kgf so here students force is given equal to 100 kgf and area equal to 0 0.5 meter square so it is given in meter square so we know not any conversion therefore p equal to f upon a f is 100 kgf upon area 0 0.5 meter square no need any conversion so it would become uh, if we divide 0 0.5 by 100 it would come out to be 200 kgf so this meter has given, given gone above so it would become in much so this would be the answer now we will move on to the next question number 12 what is question number 12 a boy weighing 160 kg of stand on a platform of dimension 2.5 centimeter into 0 0.5 centimeter right so here f equal to 60 kg f and area would be equal to length into breadth 2.5 centimeter into 0 0.5 centimeter so this would come out to be 1 to 5 centimeter square equal to 1 upon 2 5 upon 10,000 meter square right so what we have to find out pressure P equal to F upon A f is what 60 upon 120 
25 upon 10,000. Right, students? So this will become 60 into 10,000 upon 1.25. So again, this will become 60 into 10,000 into 100 comes from here upon 125 so this would come out to be 125 8 ja uh, ton, uh, sorry 25 5 ja 125 4 ja and this would come out to be 2 so this would become 48 into one two three four five forty eight into this or we can write it as four point eight and this would become ten raised to power six pascals right students so this was question number twelve we are going to rub this to make space for question number so students in this question this figure shows a brick of weight 2 kgf and dimensions 20 into 10 into 5 centimeter placed in three different positions on the ground find the pressure exerted by brick in each case right so these are three different positions of the brick so in the first case uh, given is what in each case f is equal to 2 kg f right so in first case that is here area would uh, area of the brick would be length into breadth here length is uh, uh, length is 10 centimeter breadth is 20 centimeter right so area would be 10 centimeter into 20 centimeter equal to uh, 200 centimeter square so therefore pressure would be f upon a pressure f is 2 kgf upon 200 centimeter square so this would come out to be uh, 2 divided 200 equal to 0 0.01 kgf with the stand here and this has gone above so it would become minus right in second case we have to again adjust the length and breadth in the second case it uh, area would be so here length and breadth so 5 centimeter into 10 centimeter so this would come out to be 50 centimeter square therefore p would become f upon a f is 2 kgf in each case 2 kgf upon 50 centimeter square so this would come out to be uh, 2 divided 50 it would be come out to be 0 0.04 again kgf is positive and this has gone above so this would become centimeter minus square so in third case area would be what uh, 20 centimeter into 5 centimeter 20 centimeter into 5 centimeter 20 centimeter is length 5 centimeter is breadth 
so this would come out to be 100 centimeter square and p would f upon a equal to 2 kgf upon 100 centimeter square so what would it come so 2 divided 100 it would come out to be 0 0.02 kgf centimeter minus 2 so students this was the last question i have solved all the numericals in this uh, video and uh, uh, the remaining questions were solved in the earlier video of this series right if you have understood it well then please make more and more and more shares likes and subscription to your channel right thank you for the moment we will meet again in the next video with some new topic thanks